Well, boys and girls, welcome to Bet Moto. Not much has been going on. I uh, booked myself in for a uh, advanced running course a couple of weeks ago with uh, a guy up here in Queensland called Joe Salter. So, did a really good job. Learned some new stuff. Learned stuff I need to improve on. And I'm going to take it from there. I also, I have booked in for my first track day at Queensland Raceway. Should be interesting. I've never done a track day on a bike, so I'm just going to go out, take it easy. Um, get used to the bike. I've got to get new tyres before I do that. I've actually, I've decided to get rid of the RS10s. I just can't justify them for bank for buck. They're um, too pricey up here in Queensland. I don't know what they're like down south, but for a set of RS10s here, you're looking about 500 bucks Australian. Um, where I can get a set of Q a Q3 Dunlops, which were the number two rated uh, tire uh, from the, I think it was the Revzilla, or it might have been the one of the shootouts last year, just behind the uh, Super Corsa. And so that's why I decided to go to the Q3s because they're the better bang for buck. I got quoted $320 for a rear tyre for the RS10. And um, Yeah, I got quoted $320 for a rear tyre for the RS10, which is a bit ridiculous for a rear tyre. Or well, $420 for a set of Q3, so I'm like, well, I might as well just spend the, the $420. Get a whole new set. Apparently, people average between six to 10,000 Ks out of this set. go from there. I figured I'd rather spend $420 instead of $320, get more kilometres out of the tyres, get more tyres, more bank for buck. Yellow Evo 7. Actually looks a, uh, much flat. But yeah, so 420 for a set of Q3s or 320 for a rear tyre for the RS10. I've gotten currently sitting on 4,400 kilometres on this set of tyres.
I've got maybe 500 Ks to 700 Ks left in my uh, rear tire. I have um, maybe another thousand, two thousand Ks out of the front. So it doesn't make sense to spend three hundred twenty dollars on a rear tire and in a month's time spend probably two hundred on a rear tire on the front tire. And then have it uneven wear, have uneven bloody kilometers. So I'll be swapping tires every couple thousand k's, going all right, rear tire, front tire, rear tire, front tire. All right, just buy a set, chew the rear, see if the rear lasts. If I get more than more than I wanted out of the front on the, uh, the Q3, then then I might do that. Who knows? So the Q3, I don't know whether or not they'd actually go alright on the um, the R1. Purely because everyone I know has gone to super courses purely for the fact that they stick and they do stick. But my mentality is that the rider rates on this should be able to compensate for the lesser tyre group. And in all honesty, they're not that intrusive as it is, so... Alright, go mate. Yeah, go to Q3s, give them a go. I've never tried Dunlop before. I've always been a Michelin fan. Pilot Power 3s just did not do it for me. I had them on my old CBR 1000 and great in the wet. Best car I've ridden in the wet. Absolutely shit in the dry. I felt no confidence. They were sticky, but they weren't sticky sticky. I, um... So... I'll just give you a rundown on what tyres I have used in the past. So I brought my 2012 CBR 1000 in 2013. It was a it was a run out model. I got it from Team Motor um, Springwood Honda, and uh, I actually bought it from Pete. Uh, that's the guy there, named Pete. Nice bloke nothing but help and um, yeah ended up that that bike came with s20s Bridgestone s20s they did it came with a 190 50 rear which we were a bit average um, I then went to Michelin Pilot Power Super Sports and I kept with a 50 rear um, great tyre absolutely loved that tyre I was bummed to hear it that they uh, were going to get rid of it and replace it with another but they haven't as of yet so there's that gap because I'd, I'd happily go to a set of those Um, and sure, I could probably track down all the stock, but I 
everyone I know who has had the Q3s has said nothing but great things about them. So anyways, yeah, so I went to Michelin Pilot House Super Sports. I got 7,000 Ks out of the rear. And um, 8,000 out of the front. And then, um, from there, I went from there to Metzler K3 Race Techs. Now, they were about $500 a set. I did a 55 rear tire. Um, racist set of tires I have driven on, ridden on in the dry. They heated up perfectly, well worth the $500. In the wet, they were a bit average. Like, it really felt like you were riding on an ice edge. But, you got to kind of take that with a grain of rice because it is a race tyre. It's pretty much the same tyre as what they use on the Isle of Man. Developed by Guy Martin. Well, ridden on by Guy Martin. Helped to develop in terms of advice and all that jazz. Built in the same factory as the Pirellis. And um, so yeah, you have that. And they were a great tire. I got 5,000 5, Ks out of that, and they still had maybe a little bit more to go. Um, and then I went to the Pilot Powers 3. Now they were, they were probably honestly the most average set of tyres that I've ever had. Apart from maybe the S20s, the S20s were just shit. I threw, I chewed for a rear tire on the S20 in 4,000 K. Now to give some sort of aspect there, an S20 is meant to be a, a sports tire, yes, but more road based. Where the RS10 is meant to be a pretty much a race tire, off the shelf race tire. I've got more kilometres out of my rear tire on the RS10 than I did on my S20. Now, I, ha I've n I have not ridden on the S20 Evo, but I can only presume if it has the name the S20, it's not going to be much good. Team Moto have them at the moment for a set of $350 for a set. I'd rather pay the extra seventy dollars to get a decent tire. Um, one thing I really stand by is not cheaping out on tires. Mainly because cheap tires either tend to burn out quick or tend to slide under acceleration. So there is a guy up north, he has a 2015 R1, he's using a Continental one of the Continental Sport tyres, I can't remember the exact model. He posted a video on Facebook of him riding, doing some pretty nice speed, going around corners, up, up mountains. There's a nice little video of him 
and it goes around one corner, he accelerates and the tyre loses traction. So I don't know whether or not he had his riding aids on or not. I assume not because it slid pretty bad. Um, and that's the thing, like, why? Granted, you save a couple hundred bucks here and there, but if your bike straight away is out doing the ability of your tyre, then you know. But yeah, so that's it. That's it. Like, I'm gonna go to the Q3, see how they like, see if I like them. If I don't like them, I'll go to something else. Um, I had been suggested to put the Pilot Road 4s on here. They are apparently amazing tyre, but I don't know how I'd go with that because I like the uh, I like the fact that my tyres are sticky. I like it when they get hot. I like it when they and you can just feel like, yeah, you're wasting money away because of how sticky your tyres are. So, that's why I think I'll probably stick with more of a sport oriented tyre. I was told to go to maybe the uh, Dunlop Elfers 13, but they're probably a little bit too aggressive for the street for my liking to get a decent life out of them, I guess. So yeah, give the Q3 a shot, see what they're like, who knows, I might convert to Dunlop. I've always been sceptical, but in saying that, they've had decent tyres and they don't really change much in design. And I'm a bit of a carbon whore, so I like the fact that the tyres are made out of carbon fibre, pretty much. Just on the way to see my mother. Uh, she had a. Uh, I don't know if I've actually explained it, but um, she was diagnosed in October 2014 with small cell lung cancer. Um, She ended up having six months of radiation on her chest, twice a day, plus four months of chemotherapy, three times a week, every month. Um, and they got rid of the, uh, the cancer in her lung. 
which is amazing. We're so happy for that. Um, and then this year, a spot came back on a liver, a secondary cancer. She then went straight into radi uh, chemotherapy. She could not have any more radiation. Um, and yeah, she went straight back into chemotherapy. Started fighting it. They said to her, look, we're not sure how effective this will be. Um, So with that, she just kept fighting and fighting. And we got news a week after my birthday. Ah, uh, not my birthday, sorry. Well, it would have been three weeks after my birthday that she had beaten it. It was actually a week after my wedding and I was on my honeymoon in Thailand. And, um, yeah, she had beaten it. So, we were extremely happy for that. Obviously, I was in the right place to, uh, celebratory drink it away. Yeah, that's what we did. And then when I got back, she and I had a couple of other drinks to celebrate. That's good. And then she had to, she has to have a scan every six weeks. So she went on Monday to have a scan. So unfortunately, they couldn't do a, a full body scan. Um, well, they couldn't do a the end is how they would traditionally look for cancer. Um, they did an x-ray and the x-ray came back clear. So hopefully it is completely gone. But um, yeah, we're very, we're very, very happy. We're very proud of how she's handling it. It knocked her about pretty bad. So yeah, so that's where I'm on my way to now.